Las Memorias is exciting, challenging, fun, amazing, a really good performance. It was hard, life changing, scary, overwhelming, inspiring. It's just really fun. The main purpose of Las Memorias is to provide students slash actors the opportunity and the empowerment that telling your story has on a human being. I am Tracy. I am Beatriz. I am Magdalena. I am Yesenia. The writing is step one, but the acting is the other step that you can write something, but you need a lot of more guts to get on stage and do it. I am a pig farmer. I love my little piggies. I grew up in Mapton and was raised around agriculture. So we look for schools that probably are far away from big cities, um, maybe where we find students who have never stepped out of their, their small communities. We also emphasize you know, going to college and they have the opportunity to not only be um, part of the program, but they actually have access to the resources that are on campus, they experience life on a campus. Um, and also they get to travel to different campuses when we um, are able, able to perform at other um, colleges. It's nice to see that there's programs out there that help kids with, uh, with trying to fulfill their dreams and uh, to fulfill their goals. Terrace, Mexican, veterinarian. Just letting you be. They learn skills in public speaking, writing, performance, and all of that's very important skills to have in college. This was uh, John Friday's idea and he takes the use of theater and performance um, as a tool for leadership development and self-growth and using the theater and the performance as a tool for enrollment and going to college. Well, it's a series of challenges. Uh, there's logistics. How do you get 18 to 20 teenage high school students all in the same place at the same time? Uh, there's a lot of supervision. Again, they're only 16, 17, and again, I give a lot of credit to the enrollment counselors, Dean and JR, who spent 24-7 with them. Other challenges, raising the money, it's always a challenge. It started initially when I had a conversation with Bob Felton, uh, who was a primary funder for the program. He had worked closely with Warden High School in the rural part of central Washington. And he had graduated from there um, and went to Washington State University and also to Harvard Business School. He, like many of the students from Warden, and unlike many Harvard Business School students, Bob was also a farm worker and his family migrated uh, and did a lot of work in the fields and he wanted to contribute back to the, to the high school. And uh, We were talking about where we came from and I mentioned my background of a little town in eastern Washington and uh, we got to talking about the kids. Uh, I look back on my life and, and what I missed out on was not having the courage to stand up and, and speak out and all that stuff. I think I'm kind of my parents were always working and I was working. That led to a discussion about some stuff he'd run in New York and you know, next thing you know we had a program. Uh, the program through the years has evolved in that it's a lot more structured than it used to be. I was originally in the first performances. We had still the learning experience of being able to talk to people, uh, being able to get on stage and remember lines and all that stuff, but it's a lot more developed. When we began, it was in Big Bend Community College. It was a, at Washington State University. So the whole experience in general is totally different. And I think it's an expression of the more creative, culturally specific ways of doing recruitment. So starting January we go out to schools, we talk to the counselors, superintendents, principals, um, we talk about the program and they help us through the, through the whole process. Students will apply to the program. The essays have a series of questions from, you know, related to leadership and all of that and then some questions related to performance. So, you know, if your story was a play, what colors would it have in it? So the play is inspired by all those things that they write. And John builds like the, the foundation of this. He builds the basic play. 
Then he emails it to me in New York. And then I start adding the, the more theatrical elements, the crazy moments, the, the absurd moments, the magic. And then I email him back. I'm like, what do you think? But then once we're with the actors, I'll make a major change the first night. Usually it takes actors, we will rehearse six weeks for a show. Two weeks alone, just practicing, moving and all of that. By the third day, they were already on their feet, blocked, as they say. Uh, it's a lot of work compressed into a short time. Transition is, is fast and is hard for them, but it doesn't feel hard. One important thing, how Las Memorias ends up by the time you see it, I don't have an answer to that when I come into rehearsal. I don't know. So, which is what I love. I we're producing some very quality professional grassroots theater for the Latino community of the state of Washington. And, and I also think there's stories to be told. So specifically, we do our productions in English about stories that these students face. I lived my whole entire world. I remember she was always in pink, even though she had this purple medicine bag, which never would It's be. one thing to hear their stories from somebody else, but it's another thing to see them portrayed on stage and see them, you know, be able to act out or express how they felt during these times in their lives. But when my dad got deported, I would have his old Mexican song with black background to show anger and sadness. My favorite part is really the privilege that I get to work with these students and that it is a privilege. Uh, and then I gain their trust and their respect and, you know, I don't take any moment for granted. I have incredible respect and I, and I really do see it as I am the lucky one that I get to work with them and their stories. I really enjoy rehearsals and watching Anna Maria work with the students. She's remarkable. She's very talented and just the connection and direction and, and relationships she, she builds with them is just it's amazing. So it's nice to go to rehearsals when I can and just watch the progression and the development of the performance. I think every year the most memorable is their first performance because they, you know, they practice so hard. They um, really have their hearts ready and they put it all out there. Their first performance is always the scariest one, the most important maybe for them. And so when they first step on the stage, you can see that. You seen the student two weeks ago, how they were, and then you see them up there and it's just a big moment for them for us as well. We're getting to know them personally and becoming friends with them and you know kind of also maybe like parents towards them I think that's that's the most valuable one to us. Well just the kids stories they're always very touching uh, but uh, the stories are some tragic uh, but always uh, inspiring uh, that these kids what they've been through and that they are able to survive and move ahead and stand up and talk about it. That's very, very important. Obviously they have fun because they're kids, you know, and I get to see, it's, for me it's fun to get to see the behind the scenes because I'm, you know, I'm an adult, but at the same time I'm part of the cast and part of the crew, but I get to see, you know, that they, they, they're kids, you know, they have fun, they goof off, but then they're professionals at the same time. You know, they, once it's time to get on stage, they get on stage and they do their part. They, I got to see them rehearsing and memorizing their lines and doing all that, all that uh, professional actors do. I think the biggest um, thing that we notice is their growth, um, individually, personally, emotionally. They come together, they learn that they're not the only ones that have maybe gone through the same experiences um, or have gone through the same problems, so they're able to feel understood. They feel like I'm not the only one, you know, it might not be the same story, but the experience is somewhat of the same. So the students really grow in that sense. Just to remember that you are never alone and that even though you've gone through some hard times, that you can still put a smile on your face and be like, hey, I've gone through all these stuff and I'm still here stronger than ever. And it's just amazing to know that so many people smile still after everything that's happened. And I meet these students often when I go out to talk to them. When I meet a student in March, they can barely shake my hand, look me in the eye, and tell me their name. You can see they've grown. A lot of the students were really shy. It has made me a better and more confident person. 
There's a lot of people who might have similar stories and they're listening and hopefully I could help someone if they need it. In the end, we're all doing the same thing and that is stepping out and trying to influence others. It's made me realize that I can make a difference in other people's lives by telling my story. All the training and all the work that they go through prior to getting on stage and even getting on stage takes a lot of discipline and that's going to carry out with them uh, through whatever uh, jobs that they end up getting, careers that they end up getting and going through college. I think the most important lesson I learned was to be able to talk in front of people and tell my story. Um, especially now that I'm a college student, like scholarship donors and stuff would ask me if I wanted to talk about how I was impacted. And I think if I wouldn't have done this, I would have never been able to. I would just turn it down. Las Memorias has influenced me to go to the College of WSU. Uh, it wasn't my first priority, and now it really is. Kids need support. They also need the support of adults and the support of programs and people that believe in them to champion them so that they can fulfill their dreams. I like getting these stories. I was speaking with uh, Dr. Sheldon, she's the superintendent at Warden Public Schools, and she will tell stories of the students who come through the program and what they're able to do. They become leaders in the high school. Um, you know, she was telling one story of a student who participated in the program and received an award and addressed the students. And he was the most polished, the most articulate, and, was, and you could see the impact the program had on his ability just to address the students. The very first production we did in 2008 were individual monologues. This summer we really had the students self-consciously working and producing as an ensemble. Well, I know not only want to continue it, I want to expand it. I would like it to be a regionally based and recognized program. It's a very solid program that provides a lot of skills. There's no doubt that the students involved are transformed dramatically, emotionally, socially, culturally, educationally. It really impacts upon them. And uh, it's the fourth year, uh, and I thought this was the best one I've seen, and it's uh, exciting. I think that there's a, a commitment that the community has to have towards trying to get uh, kids that have less opportunities out there so that they can fulfill their dreams. I thought about um, my own life and I thought about the hope for the future that these students represent and I think we're in good hands. It is extremely difficult and very life-changing in a good way but it is something very inspirational and not just for everyone who sees it but for people who are in it. That there's a lot of people that have their stories to tell and together we could like achieve something great like the performance. I absolutely loved it in so many ways. I never expect something so beautiful. <laughs> it was fantastic and empowering. I just really thought that their stories were beautiful. They were very honest. And I love it. I mean, it was beautiful. <laughs> so they inspired me to keep trying, not be shy in front of my class and my classmates. So it's just good to see all these young students so motivated to make a change in the world. I admire the work and I applaud it.